This is Jake Schwartz here at Big East Basketball Bed. You got to deal with it. You got to take responsibility and learn from it. So we're trying to learn from it right now. The national champions, Eric Pascal, head coach Jay Wright, and Phil Wade. We'll try to answer as many questions due to regulations of time constraint. Unfortunately, we'll not be able to do it. I really do. And I really commend the NBA. I've been outspoken about the fact that college basketball and basketball in our country needs the NBA to help us. Because the NBA is the ultimate goal for these kids. You know, whether they're playing youth basketball, high school basketball, college basketball, the NBA is their goal. So we needed their help. And the, one of the problems, not all of them, we have a lot of problems with college basketball. One of them is the fact that there are guys that are forced to go to college that don't want to go to college. So the NBA could help with that problem, and they have. And so I really thank the commissioner. Uh, I thank the NBA. I think it gives guys that don't want to go to college a, a, a very um, adequate path to get to the NBA. Previously, you know, make $25,000. It's not even, you're going to spend it. You're going to lose money. So now it gives them a legitimate path. And now if you go to college, you would, you have turned out a lot of money. So you must want to be in college. I think that might even be successful enough. And I am a proponent that they should let guys come out of high school. But there's a chance this could be successful enough. They might not need to go to, even though I still would like them to, but this might work. And what, and what would work for me is if the next step is if they say they're not going to take guys once they go to college for three years. Now, that's my I would even take two, but I think I think if you if it was two years, you'd still have the same problems. I think a guy would go for two years and think I can suck it up for two years, get some money on the side. If you have to go three, you got to legitimately want to be in college. Are you worried about losing values? I mean, values for your TV contract, the best players, all maybe not all. Yeah. I don't. I, I really don't because, um, and I know that's something we, we have to monitor. But um, I, I think there is something authentic about college basketball that is what drives viewers. It's not. I know we feel the star power. I don't think it's the star power. I think it's the rivalries. I think it's the tradition. Um, that's what drives it. I don't think star power drives college basketball. I think star power drives the NBA. So I don't think that's going to affect it. I think it might help. Can you talk about that? Thank you so much. Hey, Mr. Howard, man. Good to see you. Oops, sorry about that. So, uh, we're all up for the challenges this new season. Uh, the challenges, but um, we're very excited. But I think it's going to... Those guys aren't the ones that uh, have called. Those guys aren't the ones that are part of the problem. Uh, it's been the guys that, that don't want to go to college, the guys want to get paid. Uh, uh, so I do think we'll still get one of those. You were here, you were here uh, right through uh, all the big still the team especially the, so, the new big leagues. Uh, uh, that's what I tried to take from like that like journey. Like where you are now, where there's, you know, the doubters and skeptics. The right play all the time. I was one of the doubters and skeptics. And, uh, I just didn't have sure it. It wasn't. Uh, Do you feel a little, maybe a little more pressure? It really wasn't productive for me to be one. Because because I had, you know, even though I was a doubter and skeptic, I had to be one of the builders. Not really. I mean, but the only reason I was a doubter and skeptic is because I experienced the old things. I grew up with it. I had so much respect for it. And I still think. Once again, you're listening to a live coverage of Voice of Reason. Yes, Jake Schwartz here now with Eric Pascal. How are you doing? It's good to see you, and uh, first of all, congratulations. National champions for the second time in three years. Talk about uh, what it means to, and also defending Big East champions, talk about what it means to come back here at Madison Square Garden. I mean, uh, it's always great coming back to uh, Madison Square Garden. I mean, it's a great environment here. Uh, and we, we love this place. Uh, our fans come out here and support us. 
three. So. You lose bottom. four players to the NBA, you return, or I should say bring in three quality. very valuable freshmen uh, and a transfer, Joe Cremo from the University uh, of Albany. November 6th, Morgan State, how high are so your sights set on defending your title? Is inevitable, uh, right? no, we're we're not really worried about He's worried about another season. We're not really worried about So we're not really worried about not really worried thinking about it. Yeah, how's it feel to, uh, to be, I guess, uh, as they say, kind of the life of the party? Because because everybody wants to talk to the Villanova. How do you, how do you handle that? It's I mean, we've all been thinking about yeah, it. it's trying to get it to be like it was. Yes. You're never going to do that. Us, but no one else I heard it was a thrill to be yeah, interviewed by the voice, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> Eric Paschal, thank you so much for joining us. And again, this is a live look at uh, Eric Paschal, Phil Booth, Jay Wright of the Defending, National Champion, Bill Walker. Once again, for Big East Media Day here at Madison Square Garden.